Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Amanda here, missing her ring finger nails. I spent like five hours of my life today putting these shelves together and lost two nails in the process, but it's pretty, it's worth it. I think I need a little bit better lighting on it just to show like, I could just stare and look at it all day long. Like here's all my lip products, no. Yeah, lip products, lip products, um, bronzer and contour and highlight palettes, bronzers, blushes, highlighters, just fun little knickknacks, fun little knickknacks. Then we have foundations, powders, concealers, eyeshadow palettes, random like glitters and liners, and at the bottom, my excess mascaras, my excess um, eyebrow stuff down there in that little box, and then all my eyelashes so this is my new setup this is like what number three or number four setup for this room I we've lived in this house like a year and a half I think and this room has changed so many times we've had a bed in here it's been on this wall it's been on this wall it was back on this wall in a different area and we ended up just getting rid of the bed I, my dresser that was here is now currently in the corner over here, but my parents um, are moving to town and I'm donating that to them and the little side table, end table, bed stand, that's the word I'm looking for. Um, just cause I don't really use them to their full potential. This mirror is gonna get hung right here. And then I have a closet in here, which is a disaster right now. And it's got a mirror on it, but this room is gonna be like, I mean, this room has always been my room. The room next to us is Ben's man cave. And the boys have the whole upstairs to themselves. So they have, they have bunk beds. It's a loft or like a bonus room. And then the spare walk-in, it was like an office, but they couldn't call it anything because it didn't have windows. And so we just turned it, it's like half the size of this room. We turned it into a big walk-in closet and dress up room for the boys but they have like a couch and all their toys and stuff upstairs. So the boys have all of upstairs to themselves. Ben and I took over these two rooms, but eventually over here in this corner, um, once the furniture and stuff is out of here, my parents move back to town next month, but um, I'm gonna get a treadmill. I already have my weights and everything in here and I've been working out in here. I used to work out in my bedroom, but there's mornings I wanna get up and work out extra early. And unless Ben is getting up extra early, I couldn't do it. It just wasn't happening. Um, we have an elliptical in the garage and a weight bench in the garage, but I don't really like those workouts. I much prefer to just do the free weights in here and do beach body workouts. And so it's been working that I can come in here and even if I wanna get up at like 5 a.m. to work out or do yoga, I'm not waking anybody else up. Cause when I did it in the living room, the boys could hear it up the stairs or the TV was on the other side of the wall from our bedroom, so it would wake Ben up. So I'm on the opposite side of the house from everybody, so it's perfect. But I'm super excited, like, I just have a space. I actually, I'll hold off until the furniture is out of here, but I kind of want to get like just a really simple desk and have my computer in here. Because as of, like I do almost all my editing on my phone or, yeah, no, on my phone. I just do it on my phone. I have a Mac, um, I have a Mac laptop, I have a Mac computer, and I have a PC, all of which were given, they were like hand-me-downs that I got from my in-laws. And so I do have everything that I could do to like edit on a computer, but none of them are like in a spot where it's easy to work from. The laptops are super old and super slow. And then the computer is in awesome condition, but it's in our pantry because there's like a little office nook in there. And, but you can't sit at it. And so I just work for my phone and it actually films and edits just fine or it's not. I, that's how I learned to edit. So I'm not in a hard spot with it. But what I was saying was I would like to have a desk in here so I could also like have this be like my bill central, like my little spot, my office. So. I know I'm super excited like the chair here is purely just because I needed to fill space I have a lamp that used to be over there but it covers up the picture and so I just need to find somewhere else to put it maybe I'll put it over here eventually but then even if someone still comes to town and stays with us we bought a big um like it's a giant queen and it sits really tall blow-up mattress which 
it'll fit on this wall when this door is closed. It can fit right here or until we get the treadmill, it can go over there. So we still have options for people to stay with us, um, but not very, and like my parents have stayed a couple times and then my best friend will come to town um, every so often and stay with us. But she spent years sleeping on the couch or years sleeping on a really bad blow up mattress. So this is just fine for her. Uh, she used to have to sleep, oh, Shalimar, I feel so bad. She used to have to sleep in the boys' playroom. Like that's where we used to, have to put her up because it was like the only spot we had at our old house for her. So it was crazy. At least she has like a prettier room to look at now. But I don't know. I just thought I, I filmed a video just a second ago, but I ended up deleting it. Um, it was on my Young Living items that I just picked up, but it was kind of boring and I figured I don't really need to do that. So I figured, hey, it's the new year. I haven't posted yet because, hey, it's holidays. Who cares? It's um, 11.57 at night right now, but I just had tons of energy and Ben's already in bed. Obviously, the boys are in bed. So I figured, hey, to film a video, we could do a little chit chat. I'm not putting makeup on, obviously, but we could just talk a little bit. But um, I can tell you real quick the items I got. So these were my last two months worth of ER, which is Essential Rewards, with uh, Young Living. And I'll just give a quick little snapshot of it. Um, it is every month, like if I keep, you make an order and every month they'll send you the same order at the same time like to back or to like fill you up refills um but you can change it each month and i do change it each month because this is how i order my essential oil oils that i need every month i don't make separate orders from this because your er points add up and then you get free stuff and it's just cost effective to do it this way so one if you want to sign up for young living i have a link down below or if you want to make any orders to young living i have an uh link down below too for you but um, like I said, like life has just been super crazy between PTO and then the holidays and everything else. I never even opened my November package and my December package just came. I think today it came. So I opened them all up today. Um, some of the items I got for free because if you spend a certain amount, then they throw in some free products. So there's a couple duplicates and like this lavender lip balm, um, I got for free but and it sucks because a lot of these were items i picked up for like the christmas time to have like like the certain recipes going in the diffusers which i hardly even diffused at all this winter um thus far so i need to get back into it i can't even get to my oils right now in my pantry because it's just a crap show we've had like we had so many parties back to back to back and so everything would just get thrown in, taken out, thrown in, taken out. So everything's in the way. So I need to clean this closet and I need to clean the pantry. We don't have anything going on this weekend. I think we have friends coming over tomorrow night for a game night, but it's not like a big production. It's just going to be like a sit down and chill hangout thing. So I might. Also, I love the little tubes that they all come in. Like, I just think it's so cute. But I can get all my organization going. So I picked up a pine, which I mean, it's so winter time. I can still diffuse all these flavors, even though Christmas has passed. I got a citrus fresh vitality, a lemon vitality, which I'm so excited for because I'm almost out of this. So another quick FYI, the vitality ones, they have the white labels and these are ones that are good enough that you can digest. And so, um, like you put them in your water, like right now I'm drinking water and I have a drop or two of the lemon in it and it's amazing. I picked up a grapefruit because hello it's the new year everyone wants to lose weight and grapefruit helps with your metabolism. I picked up a ginger because hello I have anxiety and it gives me tummy issues. <laughs> I picked up a northern lights black spruce which oh my gosh smells phenomenal. You can like smell it even with it being closed. I picked up a joy I picked up a Melrose. I got a Cedarwood, I think for free because I already have a couple of these, I think, or I might be wrong, but I got a Cedarwood nonetheless. I got a Thieves. I got a Little Thieves, so this one for sure I got for free. I got a Rosemary, Abundance, uh, Frankincense Vitality, and I think I got the Vitality one of this because it was way cheaper. It's smaller. It's exactly the same as the other size or the other Frankincense but it was way cheaper because it was smaller. They didn't offer the smaller size. And so I just went with the Vitality version to save some money. 
even though so I could drink it if I wanted to but I doubt I'm gonna drink it I bought it because I wanted to have frankincense on hand I picked up oregano um bergamot thyme yang yang lang lang sorry and vetiver all of these are items I picked up because I looked at recipes um I always find it so funny I just spit calling them recipes but I don't know how else to describe them they're different concoctions of stuff to put in rollers or to diffuse so these were all items that I was missing that I needed to diffuse that I wanted to have for the winter season um so I'm super excited to get those going I need to get back into rollers I made a couple sleep ones that worked so well like I would sleep so sound I'm getting comfortable now I would sleep so sound and so well, but I stopped, I just got lazy and stopped putting them on. Like I still have them and I made some for my neighbor's um, daughter. So I'm sure she's probably out by now. So I should see if they need more, but I don't know. I got super into it. Life got busy, fell out of love with it. Now that I fell out of love, it's just, I got pushed to the back burner, but I'm starting to have more time on my hands and I'm trying to make more time for things that I enjoy. And as nerdy as it sounds, or as millennial, but do not ever call me a millennial, I will punch you in the face, um, as it sounds, I like essential oils. So again, if you want to look at Into Young Living or anything like that, I have a link down below always. But I don't know. So it's 2020. I, we're at the resolutions time. I mean, I get that it's already the new year. I haven't dieted yet I haven't worked out yet um I've been getting stuff together like my head's not in it yet and I don't think my head will be back into it until the boys are in school which the boys go back to school the 7th and then the 15th is our last day because we're going to Florida on the 16th so I'm gonna get back on schedule or back on track in life and then get uprooted for a week and then have to try and get myself back into it but whatever um I'm trying to give myself grace. I think that's one of my, I don't know if it's a resolution or just something that I want to focus, focus on. I just want to give myself grace. So, um, yeah, like it's January 2nd and I ate ice cream today. I had French fries at lunchtime. I didn't work out. Like, I mean, I should care about it because I have a doctor's appointment coming up and I need to get my, um, blood work done, but whatever it is what it is there's always tomorrow so resolutions what are some resolutions i have this year i ordered um oh and i left it in the kitchen i should have brought it in i got a plan i want to be more organized not just my house but also with my day and my time um i am i always get it wrong but i always try to describe myself as i am the most organized disorganized person I am the most functional, dysfunctional person, if that makes sense. Like, my house looks put together, but if you look, there's a shit closet here in the pantry of three bins of stuff I need to go through. The hall closet is like, everything's just thrown into it. So yeah, I look like I have it all together, but really no. Open the cupboards, open the drawers, and you'll see like everything's about ready to explode. Or I do everything at the last minute, or like, that's just me. Like, I'll have nine hours to get something done and I'll wait for the last 20 minutes to get it done. So, I just want to be better with time management and I want to be better just functioning in life. And so I got a really cool planner online. I don't really think, I've never actually, I think the secret, it's kind of like you, it has a spot for you to like make a vision board and stuff like that, which I've never read the secret or seen the secret. Or I've like, I've heard things here and there about it, but I know a lot of that is like making vision boards and stuff like that. And it kind of gears towards that. I just really liked how the structure, it was a planner and it lays out the whole month and the whole week. And then each for each day, it has you like, hour by hour so I can like write in if I have an appointment or because I always want to say like I always make planners like I have one on the pantry door right now like okay Amanda on Wednesday Tuesday or Tuesday Wednesday Thursday you're getting up at 5 a.m. and working out for these blah 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 and then this time school time and this time's homework time well every day is not the same and so it doesn't write like work as well so this one I can like change it up 
and I'll probably just do it a week at a time and I'll see what works for me and if I'm working at the school that day or if I'm not like it's not gonna because sometimes like I'll get into a rhythm of working out every day let's say at eight o'clock well okay next Thursday I have to be at school at eight o'clock okay so I then I don't work out or it's hard for me to get back on schedule but if I can look at it mapped out I can be like okay no I'm just gonna structure my day around this I mean it's all common sense things but for some reason I've lost my common sense when it comes to stuff like that so I'm super excited to get that planner going I got I really want to get into the new year um, I want to understand the Bible more so like as silly as that sounds I didn't really grow up in a churchy household I went to church here and there with family and friends but we didn't really belong to a church and then I always wanted to be like when I got married I always said like hey I want to go to church never happened never happened Ben and I have been married almost 10 years and we just started going to church um, over the last couple months we are we attend um, just a local church in town it's super laid back and super chill I love it um, it's where Remington goes to preschool at and I'm really good friends with um, the preschool teacher and I I don't know for sure Lori but like I always explain it as she's the youth minister I don't actually know if that's what she is like she's in charge of like all the Sunday school and stuff like that but um like she never forced it on us or anything like that but we just I just was like hey let's go one day and I told Ben like you do not have to go because church isn't really Ben's thing Ben works really hard throughout the week and he wants to do nothing on Sunday which I completely got and so I was just like no the boys and I can go William went to a preschool for two years out of church as well but they taught scripture and at Remington's they don't teach scripture and William was still always asking about it and then Rem was starting to ask about it and I don't know anything and so I was like let's go to church um and the boys love it like honestly they talk about it all the time and it makes my heart so happy and especially living in a small town it's just nice to get to know people and it's nice to know people who have the same morals and the same values and like the same thought processes. Um, I'm so, geez, I'm like tired. So I'm like getting all itchy. I don't know why. Um, but no, I absolutely love it. And I want, I hope we continue to go to church. I mean, I don't foresee us stopping, but I just love it. Um, we go to like an early service on Sunday and at first, like, I mean, we're up every morning anyways. Um, and it's not too early. Like we've still have time to get up and eat a nice breakfast and get ready and go without being too rushed. But it actually has made us way more productive on Sundays than ever before. Because before we'd like stay in pajamas till 11 o'clock or like just sit around and do nothing. But now we're up, we're dressed, we're out the door and we're ready for the day. So that's actually been a huge blessing in our lives. Um, I mean, I know for my life. It's brought a lot of ease and a lot of calm to my life. I tell Lori like every week, I don't understand how, and I think it's called a sermon. I'm, like this is how much I don't know about church. Um, but every week's message I feel is directed exactly for what I'm going through in my life at that moment. Like it blows me away. It makes me like teary. Like it's crazy how much I don't know like it's making me emotional like and I, I think it's funny and I don't want to turn anybody off for talking about religion because to each their own and because before I used, would be like oh you're churchy like cool bye not that I was against it but I just wasn't churchy and it's not like I'm overly preachy or anything like that I just never thought I would feel accepted in a church or not because I was a bad person but just because I don't know anything you know um and I just feel like I belong and like it just makes my heart happy and that's what I mean I'm tired that's why I'm getting emotional about it but I really want to get to know God and the story of everything better and so I bought a Bible apparently I bought a really hard Bible about a King James Bible I didn't realize there was a difference um, but luckily Ben has one that's like has the Bible at the top and that kind of breaks it down in layman's terms at the bottom except for his is like this thick it's crazy scares the crap out of me but I bought um, like a Bible study book that goes alongside the Bible and then I got one coming um, that talks about all the different books and the different 
everything and just breaks it down in layman's terms so I can like understand at least have like an understanding of what's going on so I'm really excited to get that in like that's something that I'm going to schedule a couple days a week it's gonna be on my schedule it's gonna be a set time I want to do this like it's important to me and so I'm gonna put that on there um, workouts I want to get back into working out it's super important to me my health is important to me yes I want to lose weight but I don't want to lose weight because of the way I look like I've been large my whole life like I'm used to it um, it bugs me more how much it bugs other people, not how much it bugs me, if that makes sense. But one, I mean, of course, I'd like my clothes to fit better and I would like to have better confidence, but I want my insides to be healthy. So um, I want to focus more on working out and getting healthy and eating right. I do Weight Watchers with my girl, um, with my friend Lori from church. And, and by do Weight Watchers, I pretty much just show up to meetings, which I've been to a meeting in like a month, I think. <laughs> Um, and I haven't been working the program at all, so I want to work the program. And because I did it in high school and I lost a lot of weight and it worked, so I want to focus just on health and being better. And but a majority of my 2020 resol resolutions are like just overall health, like mental health, and all of that, so not just focusing on the scale and focusing on my clothes sizes but no there was I can't even remember oh I can think of another one um and I got this book yesterday and I can't even think of it off the top of my head face off to like I'll I'm sure I'll like if it's something that I think is like mind changing life changing I'll make a video on it but I got it was an ad on Facebook and it's there was it's a book um, it's like the, she just sent it to you um, in PDF. It's super short. Um, or you could do the audible version. I mean, it's not audible, but she like reads it to you, which I'm all about that life. So I got that version too. Um, but about parenting and staying calm and making your household a better household. And I mean, we're struggling right now. We have a seven year old and a four year old. They are full of attitude. They are full of attitude. And I feel like all we do is lecture all day long. And all we do is, I feel like all they do is bicker and fight and not listen. And all we do is yell and punish and forever blowing up, blowing up, blowing up. And it's not working. So I want something to change. And I mean, they're seven and four when they're teenagers and they're taller than me because they're boys. Like, I want this stuff figured out. So um, I'm excited. To work on that I have a whole bunch like I want to get finances in order we were so broke for so long and then Ben finished residency and we got some money and we spent it I mean we continue to spend it like we won the lottery I mean we're doing just fine but we need to be saving we need to be paying off more than we have been and I just want to get finances in order so that's another big thing that I have a whole bunch of podcasts and a whole bunch of like articles pinned and a whole bunch of YouTube videos and all of this stuff for advice that I want. Like I just have it in a folder called personal growth. Like there's household stuff on there. There's parenting stuff on there. There's Bible stuff on there. There's anything and everything that I just want to personally grow and be better at. I have it on my YouTube channel, but, or like in my YouTube tabs, I think it's private. So the rest of you can't see it, but for me, I can see it. And so I want to set aside time every day to work I mean I can listen to things like while I'm cleaning and doing stuff like that and I have tons of books on audible which not sponsored that would be beautiful but um if you've never done audible do it it is my favorite thing that I buy I mean it's a monthly subscription it's 15 bucks you get three credits um most books are one two or three credits um I think it's been a while since I bought a book I don't really remember but I have so many books on back order or on my device that I haven't even fully downloaded yet because I just haven't gotten to them. Um, like self-help books and things like that that I can listen to and podcasts like, oh my gosh, like we just live in such a time where there's information everywhere and it's beautiful. Like if you need to help for something, if you need to fix something, podcasts, books, YouTube, art, like it's out there. Like I absolutely love that and I just wanna soak everything in that I can. And so I'm going to pencil that into my schedule, like a personal growth time, whether it's while I'm cleaning the kitchen and I have it playing in the background or I sit down and fully listen and fully take notes or 
whatever it may be that's something that's super important to me in the year in the new year so I don't know I think this video I'm gonna try and not edit it so it's probably gonna be super awkward because I don't even remember how many times I've stopped stuttered looked away did I even get out no I didn't get up out of my chair this time I talk about how I broke both my nails off I just put they're just those press on nails and I think um I just must have not put the glitter ones on very good because they last pretty good. I can, I'm just going to super glue them on, but we had a wedding on New Year's Eve, but they broke when I was putting this together. But so yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to do a random rambles. Oh, how's this the first time I've said random rambles and it's 26 minutes in. Good golly, Miss Molly. I lied. I just drink a lot of water. I'm really loud. I'm going to have to edit this. I don't know. I think, like I said, key points for my resolutions this year. I want a clean, tidy, organized house. I want an organized life. I want health and fitness to be a priority. I want personal health, like mental health and my relationship with God to be a priority. I want my relationship with my husband to be a priority. We used to do weekly date nights at home, like marriage counseling, just the two of us. Things are really good right now, but we have our patterns where things get really good, they get really bad, they get really good, they get really bad. I wanna try and keep it more at a level pace, like good to level, good to level, instead of good, bad, good, bad, which we've been together 12 years, it's all you can expect that you can't be happy all the time. But I'd like to continue to work on our relationship. I want to become a better mom. And the one thing I will say, 2019 was a good year not in the weight department but in the mental health department I got on medication um for the first time the end of 2018 and that was a really big thing for me and I stayed on that medication for until a couple weeks ago we changed it up because I was still having panic attacks and the last one I had at the beginning of December was a doozy and it lasted for hours and I could not break it I could not break, like it was probably the worst I've ever felt in my entire life it was absolutely terrible um but my husband was really sweet and he was like there for me we were out in public and we were with my siblings and their spouses and we went back to my brother's house and so I'm trying to keep my shit together because I'm around my family but like I was dying on the inside I did not know how I was going to get home and function because I was driving us home and we were still like 30 minutes from it was a big thing like that night right then and there it was 10 o'clock and I wrote my doctor an email and I said I need new medication this is not working for me I can never go through this again and the very next day they got me a new prescription and it's been amazing like I don't have highs and lows I don't have like I don't even like it's almost like I feel I'm just normal I guess it like like we the best way I could describe it is we um flew to Vegas um a couple weeks ago and flight flying over the last couple of years has been a huge thing for me like I'm terrified I'm thinking we're gonna die the entire time like it's miserable like if we have turbulence I stop breathing um and this flight both ways we had turbulence and I literally like paused my music and I was just like okay we never went okay panic attack where are you like I was just like it's gonna kick in right panic like oh not having a pa not having a panic attack cool like turn my music back on and went on with my life and then I was just like shit this medicine does work and so it's been really good um and on another note like even just mental health wise we got a not a new group of friends but a group of friends in the neighborhood and we spent we spend a lot of time together. I mean, there's been drama because you can't hang out with people and there not be drama, but even when we're old, <laughs> but it's been nice to have things to look forward to. And not that I didn't look forward to doing things with my family, but it was just mundane and same old, same old. Like tomorrow night, like my girlfriend, just my next door neighbor, like we're super good friends with them. And it's probably like my favorite thing in the entire world and something that I had always wished and dreamed for because it's like every TV show that you're best friends with your neighbors and I love them and would do anything for them and vice versa. 
And she just called me. She's like, hey, you wanna hang out tomorrow night? And I was like, yep. And she's like, okay, bye. And then that was it. Like it was the end of the conversation. And so we'll do like a game night or something tomorrow night. And it's just, it's super cool. It's super laid back. Like that's the one, like I'm super thankful for that friendship because it's super laid back and chill. Like I could hang out with her like with snot hanging out of my face and it would not even care. Like, you know, <laughs> it's just disgusting. But you know, like some friendships, you feel like you kind of have to be put together and be on your A game. Like with them, I don't have to be with Lori from a church. I don't have to be like, it's been great finding like friends in the neighborhood. Like, hey, you want to just come over or we just go to your house? Like it's been like, it, that was probably one of my favorite things of 2019. Um, I wish that I could see my best friend more in 2020, which getting finances, finances in order, hopefully that makes it a possibility. My best friend lives in Portland because um, we lived in Portland when Ben was in medical school. Like the only good thing that came out of Portland was my friendship with Shalomar, but um, life is really busy for her too. And she's always so great to travel this way that I need to now that life is a little bit easier and I can get away um, the be that the kids aren't babies anymore I can travel her way so like in 2020 I really hope I can get out and see her more because I really miss my time with Shalimar and um, my really good friend Sarah is moving back to town she moved away um, for a fellowship for after a residency but she signed on with the hospital back here so she'll be back here like midway through the year so I'm super excited for that like I haven't like I've had friends through the years obviously but not I mean I have tons of good friends like I'm not saying that I don't have good friends but we get together once every like couple months just because life is busy and so it's been really nice to have friends and someone I guess for me someone to talk to I think that's one reason why I haven't been filming as many videos as I once was because I'm in a mentally better spot. I'm not needing to talk to myself as much as I was when I first started YouTube because honestly I started it because I needed someone to talk to that wasn't my husband because one, he wasn't listening because he didn't care about what I was saying. Not like that he didn't care, but the baloney or makeup or whatever it was that I wanted to talk about, he didn't care. And I don't blame him because he wants to talk about stuff that I don't care about. And my children, like, I needed to talk to someone outside of my children. So sign up for PTO, even though PTO has kicked my ass, it's been awesome. I'm pretty sure I'm now on the HOA board for the neighborhood, but I'm hoping that's just a joke. But I don't know. Friendship was a really big thing to me in 2019 and like built a lot of friendships and really blossomed and came back to who I really am. I kind of lost myself, um, when we moved away for Ben to go to medical school because I was intimidated by everybody and then we moved back for residency. And then I would just hide wherever we were with the kids and hide behind the fact like, oh, the kids need me or sort of situation. Um, and I, like I'd be, I was a little bit more social in residency, but I've always been super out there and bubbly and like super extroverted. And through the years I've become more introverted. Um, but I like my extroverted, that sounded funny, butterfly wings have like sprung and I'm back to like being me. So I don't know. I don't know. This video is super long. So you're the real MVP for still here. I don't know. That's my life chit chat where we're at. Um, yeah, I have a whole bunch of makeup videos that I want to film. I had so much makeup so much makeup that I bought that I didn't open because I was gonna do unboxing videos and then weeks and weeks and weeks went by and I finally just said screw it I want to open up these products so like some of them being like the Jeffree Star Shane Dawson stuff I have those palettes I got um, some I don't know if you can see it some of the Jaclyn Hill highlight products um, I got the new Tati palette I got the ColourPop So Jaded um, Kathleen Light palette. Oh, what else did I get that I haven't really filmed with? So much stuff. Like, so much stuff. So, definitely want to get back into makeup videos. I almost filmed, and I kind of wish I did now looking back, because it turned out so bomb. Um, we had a wedding that we went to on New Year's Eve. 
and I thought about filming my makeup look but I kind of just wanted to chill time getting ready and I was just watching YouTube in the background and like I went literally like hit the button to record and then I was like I don't want to like I don't want to and if I don't want to do something 2020 I'm not doing it so I didn't but I regret it because my makeup looked phenomenal like I'm not even like I'm being biased I don't care my makeup looked amazing I did like a dark brown smoky kind of halo eye with like some bomb motif it was like a silver kind of chrome um glitter but like it shifted to like a rambo ish sort of situation did not describe it very well at all but it was beautiful and it was awesome the wedding was amazing we had so much fun um like so many people from the residency it was a gal that ben used to work with at the residency that got married so so many old friends that we haven't seen in forever so it was great to see everybody but i do regret not filming that makeup look maybe i'll recreate it because it really was that bomb um but no that's where we're at right now um, I do have some <laughs> Sephora orders coming away because I, I needed some bronzers and so I have an order coming that literally just has bronzers in it because I still have not found that perfect bronzer. I think in the summertime I have it like down but I do not have a good like fall winter bronzer so we have a bronzer video maybe coming your way. Who knows what the new year has in store but I've kept you here long enough. It is now... 12 30 at night which means i need to go to bed because my kids are going to be up in six hours so thank you so much for watching i just realized like how like absolutely crazy i look right now like i have a ponytail there's a clamp like beauty beauty all right guys thank you so much for watching make sure you like and subscribe 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 yes that's still here even in the new year you're welcome all right guys bye